The 57-year-old, dead or alive singer admitted he has endured over 300 procedures to fix botched surgery on his face, which left him depressed and fighting for his life. However, the star, who likened himself to Frankenstein's monster, has vowed to never stop going under the knife in the pursuit for physical perfection. He declared, the number of surgeries I've has is probably 300. I hope when I'm 80 and I get to heaven, God doesn't recognize me. Pete says his obsession with changing his face started over two decades ago, at the time of his chart success with You Spin Me Round, like a record. I realized I was going to be a visual entity and that I had to look good, he said. I had a broken nose. In the punk days somebody, headbutted me in Liverpool, and it went over to one side. The star splashed out 750 pounds to go under the knife in the quest for the perfect nose, but knew when he woke up covered in blood, that things had gone wrong. The reconstructive surgery that followed was the first of dozens of corrective treatments, including four nose jobs, two sets of cheekbone implants and lip plumping. But his lip augmentation also went badly wrong, and the filler injected into his pout began spreading all over his face. He recalled, I started to develop holes in my skin, and if I so much as touched my face there would be an audible hissing, and out onto the mirror would vomit this yellow fluid. After suing the surgeon and receiving £450,000 in compensation, Pete underwent around 200 surgeries over the space of two years to fix the problem. He said, I've had a major operation a week for two years to remove it from my cheeks where it had migrated, my Adam's apple, the back of my eyes. They couldn't do anything about the liver and the kidneys. I had to excrete that out. The two-year period that followed saw Pete at his lowest ebb, spiraling into a deep depression. The large amount of medication he was taking had a massive effect on his health, and he ended up being rushed to hospital. He reminisced, I developed blood clots and pulmonary embolisms in my legs, heart and lungs. I got these black marks on my skin and I thought they were bruises. The next thing my driver came in and I was unconscious, not breathing. After 10 days fighting for his life in hospital and being put on blood thinners, Pete made a miraculous recovery. But his hospital stint left him with rotting teeth turning to veneers in a bid to cover up his grumbling mouth. The program sees the operation obsessed star visit his surgeon Dr. Fernando for another consultation regarding his lips, as well as attending an appointment to fix his teeth. I've got staples, nuts, bolts, stitches, the whole lot. I'm Frankenstein. I'm feeling wonderful. I've got complete flexibility, not tightness at all, he declared. People might think I'm the ugliest son of a bee, alive but I want to maintain this appearance.